The OpsGenie web interface provides access to all OpsGenie features and functions. However, you can also use the dedicated mobile app to easily engage OpsGenie from the convenience of your mobile device. In this video, we'll learn how to perform quick actions on alert notifications, configure notification rules, configure notification sound settings, temporarily forward notifications, and configure notification quiet hours. With Android 4.1, Jelly Bean, and above, you can execute actions on alerts that appear via push notifications without needing to open the OpsGenie app. Available actions are included with the alert notification. Press ACK to acknowledge the alert, tapping CLOSE closes the alert, and MUTE temporarily pauses receipt of notifications on the mobile app, email, voice, SMS, and all configured contact methods. Tapping a notification opens the detail page for the alert, where you can perform additional actions. Push notifications are received even when you're logged out of the app. However, while logged out, selecting an action won't have any effect. To make sure notification behavior is properly enabled and configured on your mobile device, open the sidebar menu and tap My Profile. Tap Notification Rules and make sure your device is listed under New Alert Notifications. Return to My Profile and tap Contact Methods. If your device is not listed in the Mobile App section, push notifications will not be received by the device. Uninstalling and reinstalling the app should populate this page with the required information. To receive other alert notifications, such as for acknowledgement and close alert events, modify your notification rule settings from your profile page in the OpsGenie web application. When an alert notification arrives, it's accompanied by a notification sound, even if your device is in silent mode. To prevent notification sounds from playing while in silent mode, select Sounds from the My Profile page and switch off Always Play OpsGenie notification sounds at maximum volume. From the Sounds page, you can customize sounds for each alert action, select an awakening sound for new alerts, and a different sound for schedule starts. To change the sound for an event, tap the event and select the desired sound. Keep in mind that custom sounds cannot be played if OpsGenie has not been granted read permission to your device. To avoid missing any sound notifications, make sure read permission is given to OpsGenie. If you need your notifications to be temporarily forwarded to another user, for example if you're going to be away on vacation, you can do this from the My Profile page. Simply tap Forwardings. Use the tabs at the top to view forwardings that you've configured and also any forwardings from other users who've configured you as their recipient. To configure a new forwarding, tap Add. Tap Forward To and select a recipient by typing in the search field and selecting a user from the result list. Next, tap Add Date for both start date and end date to configure the period during which your notifications will be forwarded. Tap Add Forwarding to complete the process. The new forwarding configuration now appears in the Added by Me tab. To designate a regularly scheduled block of time when you don't want to receive alert notifications, select Quiet Hours from the My Profile page. Quiet Hours are disabled by default. To enable Quiet Hours, switch on this feature. Tap the Range type to configure the Quiet Hours either by time of day or by specific days. When you select time of day, Tap Time Range and configure the start and end time of the quiet hours. This time period will be designated as quiet hours every day of the week. When you select Weekday, configure a calendar range for your quiet hours. This range will be designated as quiet hours every week. Let's quickly recap what we covered in this video. We accessed quick actions on push notifications, configured notification rules, configured notification sound settings, set up temporary notification forwarding, and configured notification quiet hours. To learn more about OpsGenie, be sure to watch all the tutorial videos in this series from Atlassian University.